The great thing about contour lines is that they can also tell us how steep or flat the land is. So they tell us elevations, but they also tell us slope. And this is called gradient. The higher the gradient, the steeper the slope is. So the Adirondacks are a great place to go skiing because of these wonderful steep slopes in the mountains. So I'm going to highlight or box an area that has contour lines that are spaced close together. So in your learning how to interpret contour lines, that means high gradient or steep slopes. So we're in the mountains here. My other zone next to it, you can see that the contour lines are not close together there, and this is a valley because they're spaced farther apart. So this is the flat area that is between mountain peaks. We can also look to see if it's a valley by checking the elevation. So you can see there's a 3,400 foot line running through the valley rather than the mountain slope lines which are going 5,000 and 4,000 and so on. Now we're going to take a look at another spot in the Adirondacks just southeast of Mount Marcy and we're going to see the relationship between contour line spacing and gradient by observing Upper Sable Lake in the Adirondacks. So here is a closer look at Upper Osable Lake. And we're going to apply what we just learned. So using the spacing of the contour lines, how does the gradient in the lake area com compare to the surroundings? So hopefully you notice that the contour lines are spaced far apart in that lake area, which means low gradient, which means flatter. In the surroundings, the contour lines are spaced closer together, meaning a high gradient. The other thing is, notice how the elevation in the lake area is significantly lower than the surroundings. So we know we're in the valley there. So we have a 2,000 foot line in the valley. A little bit up the mountain slope, we have 2,600 feet. And on the other side, on the eastern side, we have a 3,000 feet. And you can see the elevations even go higher. So we're going to be using the spacing of contour lines and the elevation labels in order to interpret and figure out what's going on in our landscape. All right, now we've changed to the actual Google Earth view so we can now see what this really looks like. So now you can see that Upper Osceola Lake is in a flat area and it's surrounded by the steep slopes of the mountains. But not all steep slopes are the same and contour lines can be used to show which side of this lake has a steeper slope even though both sides do have a high gradient. So we're going to box in these two areas on the west side in red and on the east side in orange. And you can see over here, the lines are a little bit closer together than on the orange. They especially look like they're bunched very close together on the right side of that red box. So now you should start to be able to figure this out, which side is steeper? the east side, which is the orange area, or the west side, which is the red area. And the steeper side is the red area, or the western side. So the west side of Upper Osceola Lake is much steeper than the east side because the contour lines are closer together than the east side. And we're going to now transition to the view of this. So this is a beautiful shot of this where you can see that steep western side where the contour lines were closer together and the gentler slope on the east side. 